Well, I'm sure the eyes of the world will be on Port Roach this summer. That's why I'm going to give you a little tour of these beautiful shores to let you see what it looks like through the eyes of the locals. I'm a big fan myself. Actually, I'm captain here at Fort William Golf Club. My name is John Lenahan. A lot of you will know me, but uh, a lot of you won't know me. Well, not in this guy's anyway. Right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fantastic May McFedrick. <laughs> Big Patricia can't make it. Aww. You want to see the man she married, miserable as sin? See if he found a plaster, he'd cut himself. You know the guy? <laughs> and he was a slick at gambler. She never knew he gambled. She woke up one morning with a mouthful of 10 peas and a broken arm. Where the hell? The punters know me, I know them, and you know, the, the love being on the front road, you know. They don't want you to catch their eye, but they do want you to catch their eye. Give my husband a hard time, but don't give me a hard time, give them a hard time, you know. I've traveled quite a bit, you know. I've, I've worked in Canada, I've worked in New York, all over, but the people of Northern Ireland are just the friendliest. There's so many people that are so nice. Ever since it was announced, I've been feeling the excitement all year with visitors talking about it, Americans already coming, Europeans already coming to see the course, play the course. There's been a fantastic buzz and proudest of all are the locals and the likes of ourselves to see it coming and have all these people yeah. showcasing us, fantastic. You know we're golf mad down here. You know, we've had the Irish Open and Bile up in there only a year ago and to have the British Open you know, only 45 minutes away, everybody's excited and everybody's going. The Open returning to Royal Port Rush after 68 years since 1951 is momentous. For me personally, I think because I'm Port Stewart, my dad is born and bred Port Rush man and he was there in 1951. So it's doubly special for us. He was at the Open. He was at the Open. We're going to spend this year's tournament together. In the last 10 years, we've had good events like the Giro d'Italia, the Irish Open, of course, uh, which was the start of all this, but this is in a league of its own, so it's more than exciting. The Giro d'Italia went right by my front door. And it was just spectacular. Anybody who had an old bicycle, maybe land in the garden or land in their shed or garage, just painted it pink and put it at the front of their house. It was just so, superb. I hope that the legs of the Rory's and the Aaron Clark's and the Madoles, you know, they show the kids what they can do and what they can become. What age are you? Eight. I was eight when I was your age. <laughs> huh? Do you like football? Yeah. Who's your favourite team? Liverpool. Ah, oh, bless you. You move over there, son. It really is a beautiful place. Um, I think people, when they come here, they, they think of history and culture and all that, but it, it's a stunningly beautiful place up along the, the Antrim coast and glens. I mean, on the way, you take a train, for example, from Coleraine to Derry, it's just absolutely beautiful. You go to Armagh, on Slave Gullion, they'll tell you that if you kick a stone, it'll tell you a story. You go over to Fermanagh then, and Loch Earn, and there's an island for every day of the year. You come back here, I mean, look at that, a mile and a half of golden sand. One word of advice you would give to someone coming to Northern Ireland for the first time? Uh, enjoy. I, I think ultimately, John, what I would love people to do is come here and enjoy everything that this city, Northern Ireland, has to offer. We've got such beautiful scenery, we've got beautiful people, we've got beautiful restaurants, bars, um, and, and I think it's a place that I really want people to relax, enjoy and have fun. One word I asked, one word. <laughs> Jerry, Kelly, oh, Jerry. We go back some years. We go back a long time, mate. Well, it must be about five stone ago I met you. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice to see you. Back on television. <laughs> um, <laughs> the way Northern Ireland has taken to golf is unbelievable. And it's and it really it's and it's all down to one man, it really is. It's uh, young Roy McElroy. I remember young Rory as a kid doing a television programme that I was working on 
and he was chipping balls into a, a, the front of a washing machine. It was a Jerry Kelly show and I was working at it. And Jerry said to me, May, would you fancy chipping a few balls? And I said, well, make a, an eight-year-old child make a fool of me. No, thank you. I think this um, is just the start of it because once, well, hopefully, if the weather plays ball and, and uh, uh, it all goes to plan, it'll, it'll tee us up for years to come. A lot of the, the uh, bus drivers who bring parties of golfers across here, the Scottish guys say to us, you guys have no idea what's coming next. And they say it's the carry on after an open championship where the real tourism kicks in. The course is, well, from here, it's looking fabulous. It's just unbelievable, really, isn't it? It is unbelievable. To be honest with you, John, it's better kept than my hair. They're out on it every day, it's been cut, it's pristine, it's been remodelled slightly to make some of the holes more challenging. Not that they weren't challenging in the first place, but to play it as a golfer, it is an absolutely ultimate play. It's an amazing course to play. Well, he had two wee children, two wee twins. Ah, they're lovely kids, so I love them. They have blown the eye. What do you Called, call them? Uh, Jason and Kelly. <laughs> Just named them after a couple of neighbours. <laughs> That's our wee bit over for the wee tour of Northern Ireland. And really, we've only scratched the surface. Believe me, from the marble arches of County Fermanagh to the Giants Causeway and County Antrim, we have it all here. Just come along. All you tourists from the rest of the world, we're looking forward to seeing you, and we'll make you feel very, very welcome.